I was uh, title. I have titled my uh, presentation as "Picking the Persons Through Draw a Person and Person Picking Mango from a Tree." But before I focus on that, I thought that I'll a little bit talk about where I come from because a lot of people were asking me uh, where I'm coming from and some details. So I, uh, I'm from India and. Uh, Oh, I think uh, I missed one of the slides. This is Kashmir and this is Kanyakumari. It's a large country for some of you who have visited, you would know. Uh, and this is one of the quotes that I would like to present to most of the presentations where I go. I'll just read it. May I become at all times, both now and forever, a protector for those without protection, a guide for those who have lost their way, a ship for those with oceans to cross, a bridge for those with rivers to cross, a sanctuary for those in danger, a lamp for those who need light, a place of refuge for those needing shelter, and a servant to all those in need. Um, I don't know, it's not from Bible or from Torah, from Moshe, it's from somewhere else. Can anyone guess, those who had been to India, any? No. Yeah, th th this is from Shantideva, an 8th century Buddhist at the Nalanda University in Bihar in India, uh, who had quoted this. But I, I fa felt that as a, in the, a person, the helping professional, this quote has got a great significance. Uh, this is my plan, draw a person, pick person picking a mango from a tree, and then I move on to person picking uh, from an apple from a tree, and then I go with the... Uh, PPMT in adolescence and law. This is India. I come from, sorry. Oh, no, no. but then others may not be able to see. <laughs> is this okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After half an hour. <laughs> uh, I come, I, this is India. This is Kashmir and this is Kanyakumari. I come from a state called Kerala and I, I originally hail from this. But I have worked in this state, and I worked in this state. Two months ago, I moved to this place. So that's, uh, and uh, my co-author is Kriti, who is my PhD student. She comes from this state. We have 29 states and seven union territories, and there are 22 major languages. So it's a big Europe that we have within India. And we have a lot of uh, 13 scripts, but over 720 dialects, which means, means difficult when a questionnaire like what you you are designing, uh, Rachel, uh, and what the questionnaire that you have uh, you have brought out. If we have to do that in our languages, it becomes a huge task. So uh, that's one of the challenges that maybe we have when we are thinking of taking up the challenge. Extent of child abuse. There was a study on child abuse in India in 2007, which was uh, which shocked me actually which said 53.82% of children reported having abuse, of which 21.90% per, face severe form, and the vulnerable were 7, 7 to 13 years. So this is a very kind of a, uh, I would say, traumatic exp uh, information. And the child abuse is, uh, child sexual abuse is highly underreported. So it, it could be much more than what uh, is on the surface. The new reasons are numerous. I'll not go into those things. That's not my focus of presentation. But still, stigma could be one of the things. And the other issues are which I have brought out in the discussions yesterday. And uh, major, of, we you in Israel are listening to the uh, talk yesterday. There are, the, 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 there are a lot of people who are trained in the investigation and uh, who are sensitized, etc. But we have several challenges to that, especially with the new law coming in. We have got a new law which has come in uh, called the Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses called POXO Act 2002. That happened because out of a mass agitation uh, following the brutal rape of a physiotherapy student in, the, in Delhi, in the capital of India, <laughs> which made the government make a change. So probably if you are having a mass rally or mass movement, it can probably make a difference, as we were discussing yesterday. And the Spokeso Act was revised uh, recently in 2018, which includes death penalty for sexual offenders against children. 
um, I don't know how it would work. Probably it might, it might make the police officers more corrupt because you know they they probably can convert the convert the FIR into a different one so that it, there is no offence reported. That is uh, right now one of the rape cases. Uh, a, a, a politician is trying to get out of it, but I think the media as well as the just uh, judiciary system has not is not leaving him. But we don't know what would happen after a couple of years later. We have more child protection units now in each district. Child helplines are formed, which are making people aware of it, children aware of it, teachers aware of it, parents aware of it, and bringing more and more cases. State Commission for Protection of Child Rights is also there, but that they look into the other areas of human rights, child rights issues. Um, as I entered the clinical psychology profession, then I, I was introduced to the draw a person test. And uh, so I started using it in my clinical uh, clinics, a clinical service, and I found that this is a useful test as a tool for uh, introducing children or whomever I assess to the area of projection, protective test. But then I found that this is giving me more uh, insights into the people. And uh, one, of the, one of the things what happened was there was a, a girl, adolescent girl who was brought with uh, aphonia. So I gave her the aphonia. She was, she was not able to talk. She was mute. And she didn't have any medical reasons for it, as we have already heard. And uh, uh, sh I mean, I gave her the draw a person test as usual, and then I made her draw again. You know, then went went on using the tool again to further to make uh, make her talk, and I could make her talk. And after making her talk, uh, it went on. It took a lot of time, and then she asked me a question. You know, I was, I was, I knew that she's in distress and there's, she's undergoing through some kind of a traumatic experience, but I can't tell her that this is what is going through because I don't have any evidence to say that she has got any kind of a uh, uh, stress from related areas because the parents nor the uh, her sister couldn't give me any information. Then uh, it came to a stage where she asked me, "Can you get back to me what I have lost?" Can I get back to me what I have lost if I tell you? What, what, are, what are there in your minds? It's not a class, but still I am curious. Not the Indian, not people from India. Pardon? She's mute, but she tells me, can you get me back what I have lost? Not what? She's, no. Virginity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, men are responding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe, I mean, a lot of people would give, you know, boyfriend, textbook, you know, dif depending on the age level, people would give different things. But she was concerned about that, and she was abused by her father, which the mother knew and the sister knew, but none of them dare to report it for various reasons. I will not go into the details of it because I'm just ge giving you that how the tools can be used or made me think of these are not that of abused children. I'm telling about using draw a person as a test. Usually I ask the child or the person to draw uh, a person first and then I ask the person to draw the person of the opposite gender. After he or she identifies it, it as a male, then I ask the person to draw a the opposite gender. I don't even say the female. Or So these are some of the drawings which uh, we have done. I don't know, Rachel would like to make some interpretations on it, it or <laughs> not it. <Your> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So these are some of the drawings that we have used. And I've, uh, I know that this has got much usefulness, but some of the challenges are clients usually say that uh, I do not know how to draw, and then you need a lot of persuasion for the person to draw. Uh, then they may say that I do not know to draw a person. Then show me a picture. Then they can. Sh then I can draw, 
or you draw do you want me to draw myself uh, if you show me a photograph i can draw you know these are the things that uh, usually the children as well as adults would say about draw a person so uh, this kind of uh, uh, figures stick figures it becomes very difficult to assess or conclude what exactly the person is struggling with i don't know whether ai can do a lot of things on these uh, pictures or not let's see what comes up and when we administer in case we have to administer them in groups what we find is that again the same response that we do not know, know to draw and sometimes children and adolescents tend to copy that's one of the issues that we have so we we have to be very careful when we are administering uh, this tool in a classroom because we have large number of people and less number of trained people so we need to have some kind of a method to assess identify children who are struggling with different issues but clinically it has been found to be useful uh, especially from a sign analysis when the arms are missing legs are missing we, we, we have different interpretations given by the different projective psychologists my challenge was that it does not have any objective scoring so that is one of the issues before a before the artificial intelligence came into picture i was thinking you know this uh, there, there is not uh, much of an objective scoring though we have it uh, we have a uh, test developed by pramila patak which was uh, in developed in the 70s but it was revised in 87 she uses the she used the draw a person test to assess the intelligence from based on various things we could uh, identify the intelligence that's one of the things that, that she has done but again it is not objective there's a lot of subjectivity coming in so we were looking for some kind of art based assessment so how street person was an option human figure drawing silver drawing test of cognition diagnostic drawing series person picking an apple from a tree Kant and Tobon yeah David uh, we talked about it and birds nest drawing belief art therapy assessment the face stimulus assessment so different tools are there which one is the best for us we don't know we didn't know because uh, i was introduced about pat then i thought that we would work with that and uh, uh, when we started working with the, the apple tree we found that we had uh, initially when we piloted it made ask made children to draw this then they said we have not seen an apple so what do you do when you have to make people draw <laughs> draw a, a, a tree where you know people picking tree from the apple tree they have not seen an apple so it became so it became a challenge so we i mean kruti was also there and we were actually wondering what would be the best tree to do so we went on brainstorming and then we thought that probably we'll try out mango instead of apple because mango is our national fruit so it might work then we also thought about in the kashmir where we talked about there's not been many mango trees and what do we do if we uh, have to do that in the north but we limited to south indian population and see how it would be and then we tried whether it makes a difference or not in in the sense of scoring i mean not not only the the quality of drawing in the scoring using feet scale whether that makes a difference uh, one of the reports said that uh, i don't remember the order when she asked a pop a group to draw a person picking pp80 the person drew a jackfruit and then she said probably jackfruit could be one of the trees for the asian countries so we wanted to really know what how uh, that would be have how many more minutes yeah okay because i would like to have some discussion yeah i have, i would like to have some time for discussion so i i might run run through some of the slides and have discussion that's all right. so yeah we tried it out with uh, 52 adolescents and uh, those were between the age group of 20 to uh, 12 to 20 uh, this was the inclusion criteria uh we had younger adolescents or older adolescents and wanted to see which should be the appropriate to treat to be drawn or you know uh, how they draw it and how the whether the scoring makes a difference we ha fortunately we had another i had another student who was also working with ppat and uh, both of them 
being the raters, could see the inter-rater reliability. So we tried that and we found that uh, uh, students reported not having seen an apple tree. Uh, when asked to draw mango tree following the apple tree, both the drawings appeared similar in terms of tree shape, size, and features of person and other environmental details. So this could have affected our uh, findings also. Uh, on an average, the time taken to draw mango tree was more compared to our apple tree because they could draw something which they didn't know, so it, probably they would have done it very fast. In PPMT, adolescents added more elements to the environment, which included house, birds, sun, clouds, river, pond, and people, which reflects the results of the study as mango tree being the better than apple tree in the Indian context. That's, uh, these are the uh, different, sorry. Oh. You can see it here, the apple tree and the mango tree. You want to say something on this? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, the pictures were drawn by the same person. So on one day I assessed uh, on apple tree, on the other day it was the mango tree. So we could see the difference in the environmental details. Uh, so there was significant difference of PPMT on younger and older, older adolescents on subscales of, on the feed scales of uh, integration, logic, realism, object and environmental, developmental level, and line quality. So and older adolescents showed higher mean scores for the above subscales than the younger adolescents. Uh, I talked about the inter-rater reliability. There was no inter-rater reliability in the subscale of uh, line quality for apple tree, which was found to be high for mango tree. The other things had shown a significant difference. Uh, this, uh, yeah. So we wanted to find out, this was just our assumption, whether mango tree is the appropriate one for the Indian context. So we really wanted to see how people would see it. So we asked uh, participants, 610 persons, to tell, to freely list down the familiar fruit trees bearing, fruit bearing trees they have heard of. So we, we didn't want to give them the idea that we are going to replace apple with mango, but you tell us which, which are the trees you have heard of, and then rank the trees based on the easiness in drawing. So we found 49, 45 fruits being brought out. We have taken only, the, I'm just showing only the five important ones. Uh, mango tree was uh, top the list with 94.1, but still some six people, six person, they didn't consider a mango tree. That's again significant. <laughs> significant. Apple tree was 64.3, still that it has a role. But jackfruit tree also, also came up, but below that of it, and the orange tree was there, goa was there, and the other trees, uh, so many trees were there. And then in the order of uh, uh, preference, we found mango tree again to be on the top. Banana tree came second because it's easy to draw. Apple tree came uh, much lower. Then we had papaya tree, which again is an easier tree to be uh, drawn. Jackfruit also came. And coconut tree also came up, which is quite common in the south. So we, it was easy for us to conclude that apple has to can be I don't know whether the authors would agree, but we had we did correspond with some of the others related to that. I don't remember the names. Uh, sorry for that. So, mango tree could be the uh, uh, use instance of apple tree, but now we have not used this for sexual abuse because we didn't think that we could get a group of uh, children where could va where we could validate this with those people in those kind of situations. But we used it with. Uh, uh, People with depression group. Uh, this was one of my students' PhD work, part of her PhD work, and uh, using, uh, trying to correlate with the depression scores. We've, she had uh, taken 2,000 adolescents from an age group of 11 to 16, studying in class of 6 to 10. Uh, only 48 parents gave assent for the adolescents to take part in the study. So, though we have, she has consulted, uh, contacted 2,000 adolescents only. 485 gave assent, so, and again, only we could take a 60 
group of adolescents and uh, with uh, who are with high scores of depression and low scores of depression and we assessed using the uh, feeds on that and we f we could find only implied sorry uh, implied energy and details of object and environment and rotation differentiating between the two groups of depression and uh, others without a high score of depression and the depression score was correlated with the problem solving of course these three were also correlated with that but in addition problem solving was also uh, um, correlated with it but in a negative way then we found that on PPAT drawing quality was uh, probably in, there are a lot of things which came up which made me made us feel that it might be not only just the uh, feed score feed scale but could be we can look at different things which can give us different uh, conclusions or help us to draw certain conclusions so uh, while assessing it the drawing quality could be referring to the intellectual functions action shown maybe the basic traits specific features on the emotional state these are not validated these are just observations we had organization of the drawing probably would give it again the prognosis of in depression and uh, all this i'm talking in terms of depression but we do not know whether this is true for the other clinical conditions maybe different maybe for a children with conflict with law may be different so we tried to identify whether we can get certain significant uh, features of the drawing and do a analysis and then we found tally as part of the feed scale which gives the numbers where we can compare or the features of it because it says uh, so this was done on a group of typically growing or the normal controls and the children in conflict with law and then we had uh, participants like uh, group one we had 158 of them and had group two with 151 uh, uh, children who are in conflict with law and we had an inclusion criteria i'm skipping through that of uh, children from different religious groups hindu predominantly the country is predominantly hindu so it, it represents that we had muslims uh, this is not significant we, though we found that there are the muslim children to be more in the children in conflict with law but this was not found to be sig significant christians two and two other is one and this is a socioeconomic status of the group and in the group we have the variables like orientation of picture and in the the da there was no difference here there is no difference of signal in the orientation of the picture and colors used in the whole picture had a significant difference like the dark green you want to comment on that or yeah quickly we have time is running yeah. okay, yeah. uh, there was significant difference in the colors used especially the dark green the pink and the orange among the conflict with law and the typically growing so next slide so and uh, there was a lot of inappropriate colors used uh, by the conflict with law so we can see the colors used for the tree which is normally brown and uh, green but here they've used a lot of uh, blue and uh, other uh, red and green uh, red and uh, pink and uh, uh, gender of the person that might be male the gender was not clear in the conflict with law group and we have the energy uh, used okay implied energy like uh, whether the person is standing on the actual ground that was not found in the uh, concrete with law group and, next. and here uh, some of the observations like uh, the implied energy we can see the person actually floating whereas the typically growing group uh, has uh, the person standing on the ground and uh, some of the uh, patterns or lines were observed in the uh, group in conflict with law like we can see those repeated uh, dots in the trunk tree trunk and it was observed in many of the pictures so, this one the, these are all the age of the person so which one okay adolescents or adult so we had the difficulty differentiating whether the person is adolescent or an adult especially in the conflict with law group and uh, 
the clothing like many of them were stick figures or uh, some were also nudes so next so here we have the picture in the conflict with law where we can see the nudes or it is mostly the stick figure kind then uh, uh, the number of mangoes were different like the children typically growing had more mangoes on the tree whereas the conflict with law had the number of mangoes were less so and the uh, yeah the color of the tree there was a significant difference in the color used like the brown the green and yellow uh, like uh, the mangoes uh, have the yellow color so the, the, so there's a number of uh, mangoes in the tree next slide uh, yeah the left side is the typically growing group So we had a lot of uh, significant difference in the environmental details, like the uh, grass, the horizontal line that is drawn for the grass, uh, grass and the flowers were missing, the birds were missing, and the house walkway, pathway, all these had a significant difference. So the conflict with law group had less environmental details compared to the typically growing. So these are the comparison, the conflict with law group on the right hand side. So they had less environmental details compared to the typically growing on the left hand side. So some of the other uh, features that we observed were uh, the prominence of roots, which we saw in only in the typically growing, uh, sorry, only in the conflict with law group. So the roots were very prominent. And uh, some of the cultural aspect like uh, the rangoli, it is a pattern with uh, dots and joining of yeah okay it's a pat that is drawn in front of the house so we saw that being reflected in the pictures too so we do not know how to score it you know whether you know that that could be uh, probably we need to different uh, have norms for it and this is another one yeah so uh, some research is being under in progress so the way, way forward would be I think with artificial intelligence, thank you. With artificial intelligence, it may be possible to analyze the drawings in an accurate way to identify and differentiate the potential ones who are likely to change as a result of corrective measures uh, and those who are likely to continue to be in conflict with law. And I don't know how this can be used, whether we would be, whether the self drawing would be a op better option in identifying children with who are sexually abused or whether this would be a better one i don't know i mean probably we need to i mean because you already initiated it we may not be possible to change it but i am just sharing my thoughts yeah thank you thank you for your attention.